Yo, what's going on guys? Okay, that that was not how I wanted it to go. Okay, no, no, we're gonna try this again, okay? I wanted to like pop out, like just boom, like right in front of you guys' face. Hold on, hold on, let me do this. Yeah, I can injure myself here. There's barely any room. Okay, but, you know what? This is not gonna work out. I'm just gonna stop trying to be creative here but anyways what's going on guys phase rug here and today i'm bringing you guys a call of duty video finally if i had a dollar for how many comments and tweets i got telling me to make a call of duty video today i'd actually be rich one thing that sucks is that my past two videos i don't think like hit sub boxes or something because like they did not do as good as i thought they would and they were like two really good videos yesterday was a vlog it was like a 15 minute vlog and the day before was me and my brother reacting to our most embarrassing video ever and I thought those videos would do a lot better than they did but I think YouTube sub boxes were messed up and I tweeted out asking if my video hit your guys sub boxes and half of you guys said no half of you guys said yes so I'm sure YouTube messed up on that part you know when you're a YouTuber and your video just does terrible it literally kills your mood and every YouTuber knows that everyone like everyone in phase and just every big YouTuber knows that when your video doesn't do as good as you think it would then you just you're just in a bad mood so looking at my bank account makes me want to cry because i just went christmas shopping for 15 people yesterday and oh my god guys it's so bad like you know i went all out on christmas gift shopping for my family this year because on christmas day i actually want to do a family christmas gift unboxing video well not really unboxing but like opening gifts with my whole family and seeing their reaction to all my gifts and everyone's gifts overall so if you guys want to see that let me know just on christmas day when we all open gifts i want to like vlog everyone opening their gifts and it would be a great great video i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm actually wearing my rug apparel i haven't wore my apparel in my videos in a long time and i just found this in the back of my closet like what am i doing dude if you guys want to check out the apparel there's a link in the description and i don't really promote it. i don't know why all right guys so in this video i'm actually going to be telling you guys a story of how i almost got my ass beat in class and it was actually embarrassing and just very very scary on my end i'm gonna give you guys a full in-depth description of everything all right so this happened in sixth grade in my english class keep in mind in sixth grade i was really small tiny like puny like like a little chipmunk voice like i was just a little squeaker kid like in sixth grade there was this really big sixth grader he was the biggest sixth grader at our school and like he was super super big he played football and all that i'm not gonna use his real name so i'll just use let's just call him apex for this video get it because big apex small short okay all right yeah so his name was his name's apex in this video so this big guy he played football he's tough he's huge but he has an emotional side to him he's had a lot of like girl issues like he loved to sing like really emotional songs right and so this one day in class we were all reading and it was quiet and then he's just like singing he's he's not singing like with his full voice just like like kind of in a low voice but everyone can hear him because like it was quiet we're all reading but he has his like headphones and he doesn't care he was he, he was a savage he did not care so he was just singing and he was singing in this like really girly voice and me being the stupid stupid kid i am i would just like oh my god listen to him he's such a girl he's such a girl like i was like kind of talking shit don't ask why i said that i just thought i was i thought i was cool like i was trying to be cool like oh what is he doing i would just i don't know i don't know why i said that and supposedly this monster this huge just think about it guys we're in sixth grade i was at least i was not five feet yet. i was like four foot maybe eight or something really really small like maybe 70 pounds i don't even know guys supposedly he heard me from like halfway across the room i guess i said it loud or something or i don't know how exactly it happened how he heard me maybe his friend told him or something my friends and i had a nickname for him we called him the emotional bull because like he, he's a bull he was a huge huge guy but he was super emotional so after calling him a girl i didn't say it to his face i remember that i did not say it to his face he was like halfway across the room i was just like why is he singing why is he singing and like i don't know i just thought i was cool and right after i said this i saw him get up and start walking towards me and right then and there i literally shit myself in my in my seat i literally shit myself he was huge guys he was huge he starts walking towards me and i start pretending to read and i'm like shaking and my face turns all red and i'm just like holy shit holy shit please i'm so scared right now like i'm just reading like this so this huge bull is literally right behind me and i'm sitting there like shaking he picks me up in my chair he picks me up from the chair like 
with the chair. He picks me up with the chair. I'm in the chair and I'm up in the air with the chair. I'm like, okay, that rhymed. That all rhymed. Everything in that sentence rhymed. And I'm literally shitting myself. Everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, drop him, stop, what are you doing? Blah blah blah. Everyone was scared for me because I would think think about it. I was really small. He was huge. I did not know what I was doing. I was really, really Oh my god, dude. Thinking about this, like I don't know. It was super scary. So what had happened after that, he just dropped me. He didn't like throw me or anything what he was planning on doing. So he just like, he didn't set me down. He dropped the chair, which I was in. And like, I just fell like this. It was, I just like got a little bum. No matter how bad he wanted to beat me up, like he honestly couldn't. That would be so fucked up. I was like four foot seven. He was huge. And right after he set me down, he's like, don't ever call me a girl again. And then he just walked back. And I was just, I was shaking, dude. Everyone came up to me, they're like, oh my god, are you okay? Like that, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, all that, I was so scared. That was the most embarrassing thing ever, dude. Like, it got all quiet after. And the teacher wasn't there, by the way. She'd always leave the room whenever we're doing reading because she just trusted us that we'd read and stuff. And man, that was so embarrassing for me. And it was just a scary-ass moment. Every time I have a story, I always tell the moral of the story. And this moral is that you don't, call a big huge emotional guy that's singing like a girl song don't call him an emotional girl don't call him a girl at all just don't don't call him anything i don't know what i was thinking oh my god i just hit markered that what bro that was a bad trick shot but I actually just hit markered that. What the hell? That was terrible though. Like, I don't even know what I did. Oh my god. Damn. You guys have to drop a like for that. I mean, I had like two tries that game. Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to drop a like. Drop a like for that hit marker. It wasn't too crazy, but it was from that spot where you like spin on that tower and you go up. Uh, yeah, you know, it was it still would have been pretty nice, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys with tomorrow's video. Other than that, it's been Rug, and I'm out. Peace.